I want to. I'm sleeping with my eyes open. I wonder if they're done yet. Done with what? I think they should be finishing up about now. Shirley, I like Coolidge. Stay away from me. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet they're hungry. We better have to take them lunch. I'd rather be hanging out with them. I guess we should. You poor thing. You could never like Sennel the way I do. And to try and compete with me is impossible. Because if you compete with me, I'll drown the other half of the continent. We can't seem to keep a conversation going. Well, I like Sennel, she likes Sennel. You two must really be concentrating on your cooking. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. You'll never have Sennel. Of course, haha. -ha. Oh, oh, something smells good. Hi, Groon. I was wondering why it got so quiet. She fell asleep on the sofa with her eyes open. And it's creepy. Got that thousand yard stare. Norma, come on. Time to wake up. <sighs> brother, brother. He'll always be your brother. Ow, quit it. No noogies. No noogies. <sighs> wake up. Grr, a lot of stuff's been happening lately. I haven't been getting enough sleep. Uh, morning. Is lunch ready? <laughs> Excuse me. Norma, you could help out a little too, you know. Unlike you guys, I don't have anyone special to cook for. Oh, that's so sad. You should have helped with the move then. You'd rather I weren't here with you? Much rather. Anyway, let's go take that food. It's a lot of food. I mean, I guess there are eight people. Here you go, Sennel. Wow, I love fruit sandwiches or whatever the fuck this is. This is great. Thanks. Uh, cool, Ditch, I made you something too. Yeah? Aw, oh, that is sad though. For some reason I'm rooting for her. Oh my, this sandwich is delicious. Yeah. See, did you even try it? Don't forget to chew your food now, Jay. Hearing that from you makes me ever so slightly furious. <laughs> what the fuck does that... That's like me. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly furious. It's like either you're ever so furious or you're slightly furious. But ever so slightly, it's like... It's even slightlier than more slightly. Oh my god, you inherited your mother's cooking skills. Well, how is it? Even the flavor to the texture in every possible way. This is the worst tasty thing I've ever eaten. After all the work I put into it, fine then, give it back. Well, I never said I wasn't gonna eat it. I'm just saying it tastes horrible. Listen, daughter of mine, I have a responsibility to eat it all. I can't give up halfway. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry, there's plenty for everyone. Whoa. Why are you all looking away? Except Groon. Here, Geet, I made some for you too. Eat up. <sighs> it's a baguette. Dogs love eating bread, don't they? Animals are honest with their feelings. Bread Rain Alpha, you're his owner. Take responsibility and eat it. Why does this always happen to me? Sometimes I feel like I was just born to suffer. You and me both, buddy. Isn't it yummy? Oh god. I'm gonna have diarrhea. Yahoo! Oh, Moses looks like he's having fun. It must be so good it makes you want to jump up and run around. Groom, do you feel okay? It's absolutely delicious. 
See, some people can appreciate it. God, how long does this thing go for? I thought I was good goner. Yee-hoo, diary of time. Ow. Excuse me, anybody home? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's Elsa. Hello, everyone. Is it alright for you to be up and about? I'm feeling really good today. Well, that's good. I'm still not into you, so don't ask. Oh, by the way. There seems to be some kind of commotion near the entrance to the city. Do any of you know what's going on? There was a crowd and someone was yelling. Shall we go have a look? We'd best find out what's going on. Couldn't you just take me to the entrance? No, we all have to walk there. Oh, I guess not. They did take me to the entrance. Good on you. Someone please answer my question. What question is that? Oh, my house is right in front of a safe spot. That's convenient. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, this is where we are, okay. So it's like the opposite side of where Will's house is. Let us make more braids, shall we? Why do I have toast? It's probably a stupid ingredient for something or other. Oh, that's so lame. Is there a way that I can get to the inn from here without seeing what's going on in front of the... Of the thing, so I can give the stupid guy his no, his toast. Oh man, it's the start of Chloe's story. Did someone think? Did something happen? It seems there's no one here capable of understanding me. Oh, is is that you, Fenimore? You alive? Fenimore? How is this possible? Oh, good. You still remember my sister's name. Oh, you're a twin. Sister? You're Fenimore's sister? Oh, that's right. Fen Fen had a twin. How do you... I don't remember this shit. What, how did you know? I'm Fenimore's younger sister, Thyra. I'm honored to finally meet you, Marinus. You... Oh, younger as in a minute younger? Or what's, what's the deal with this? The one who murdered my sister. When I heard you were living here with these people, I assumed you must have forgotten all about Fenimore. I could never forget her. Then why have you forgotten your duty and chosen to stay in a place like this? What do you think you're doing here with these Auraranis? You have many other things you should attend to. I'm not the Marinus anymore. Now hang on a minute. Shirley's here as an ambassador. Oh, Shirley's here as an ambassador as a representative of the Fairness. If you're a Fairness, then surely you should know that. I couldn't believe she was living together with a rareness until I saw it with my own eyes. I... First you kill Fenimore, and now you're just living here like nothing ever happened. You feel right at home living with these Auraranists, don't you? That's not true. I'm just as racist as you are. What is wrong with you? Hey, hold on a minute. You've got it all wrong. Fenimore died protecting the Marinus, didn't she? That's just the same as if the Marinus killed her herself. You little... Sentinel, it's all right. You were our hope, yet you betrayed us, and you continue to betray us to this day. Oh, I'm so tired of these fairness and their racist ways. Like, I get it, you know, we're invaders, I'm sorry. Sorry, not- I don't know. You, you, we can't go back to our home planet. We need a place to live. Sorry about all the murder, I guess. Instead of coming back home, you came to this city of all places and lived with these filthy Auraranus. You just ran away all by yourself. Hey! It's alright. What you should be doing is seeking retribution against these people. It is your duty to eradicate them. 
The Auraranus have killed so many of our people. They killed my sister. Fenimore was killed right before your eyes, yet you still won't use your powers? That's because... Because my sister's life meant nothing to you? Well, that's not true at all. But you care more about the Auraranus, right? These Auraranus here who you should hate more than anything. Hatred and racism. I mean, speciesism. I, I, I don't know. They're probably a different species, right? That's not a fair comparison. So that's how you run away from the subject, huh? When I found out Faramore was alive, I was so happy. Faramore, I mean Fenimore. Ever since we were attacked by Aurorinus and separated, there was not one happy moment in my life. I was elated, thinking we could live together again. But because of you... Because of you, I'll never see her again. You took Fenimore from me. You killed her. Oh, you're right. Shirley... If I had been doing what I should have, Fenimore wouldn't have stayed on the legacy. She wouldn't have lost her life protecting me. Doing what you should have? Are you trying to insult my intelligence? If you understand that much, then you should know what you need to do. Don't sit here making excuses to me or holding hands with these wretched rareness. What you need to do is destroy them! No, you're wrong. I am not. No, that's one thing I know for certain. I guess I'm wasting my time. You want the fucking wings of lighters up there. Stick your life in it and blast us away, little bitch. If that's how you're going to be, then I have nothing else to say to you. Just looking at your face makes me ill. I'm leaving. If I stay here in this around city any longer, I'll probably catch whatever you've got. Uh, you could stand to sweeten up a bit, hon. If I ever heard you call me sweet, I'd vomit. Moses, think before you say such stupid things. She's clearly a bitch. Whoa! You're such a misogynist, Jay. Did Tulip come all the way here just to complain? She looked pretty obsessed. Obsession, huh? I might need to learn a little more toward that myself if I want to get anywhere. Lean a little, sorry. Ah, sorry, just talking to myself. Cheer up, Shirley. I'm fine. I knew a day like this would come sooner or later. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Any of them can listen to the will of fucking Nerefis, so go ahead and do it. I think I should have gone to see her myself. I left the Fairness Village in Moritz's hands without really thinking about the feelings of those who live there. I should have known that there would be some who disagree with what I'm doing. Oops, sorry, I was walking in place for a second. Thyra's a strong person. She came all the way out here by herself. You don't have to hear this. You don't have to bear this alone. It's a problem. It's all of us a problem. It's a prowl of us. It's a problem all of us have to deal with. We'll keep working to close the gap between the rareness and fairness, little by little, one step at a time. There's no easy way to resolve these emotional issues. This is a deep-rooted problem that's existed for a very long time. Yeah, but we, uh, yeah, but we all should try to be one big happy family. Come on now, family. Moses always has good things to say when it comes to family. Too bad that's the only good thing about him. Hey! Come on now. Thanks, everyone. I really appreciate it. Uh, here we get on with it. I gotta go give the toast to the dude. Would you like to save your game? <laughs> After watching this scene about speciesism and racism? I thought you might be here. They're different species, right? I mean, can we intermingle with one? Obviously, maybe we can. We haven't seen any bi-species people, or biracial. I just had a feeling. Good thing there was a place for her to be buried right here. I have to be stronger or Stella would be angry with me. I'm okay now, let's go home. Yeah. Was that Norma? How'd she not see us? Who's on that grave? You just watch, Master. I swear I'll find it. Give me a little boost to keep going, okay? Alright, with everything you taught me, it's as good as found. What is? Senny, Cheryl girl! Oh, hi guys. Uh, hey, kind of weird place for a date, isn't it? It's not a date. I wouldn't want to get in the way, so I'll split. See you. 
What's she so nervous about? She might not have wanted us to see her here. What does it say on this grave? Is this the grave of someone she knew? Says his name was Sven? Is she from Iceland? Or any of the Scandinavian countries? Would you like to say? I'm sure is it's it's not Sven, right? That's more of a Latin thing where V's or was sounds. Sven. Yo, settle, rise and shine. Don't make me penis slap you. Come on up and at him. Alright, get in, get the message. Chomp his neck. Get your laser butt out of that bed this instant. I'm getting tired myself. I should lay next to him. Geek, bite his head. Man, I was having this dream where Geek was going to bite me. What are the odds? I always pegged you as more of a morning person. You got to shape up. Or ship out. You cannot have that much energy this early. Sure, I can. I take Geek out for a walk every morning. And he says Geek's not a dog. So did you want something? Bubbles says she's got a favor to ask us. Norma? We're going to meet up at the Fountain Plaza. Let's get a move on. Oh, it's time to start Norma's story. Hot diggity damn. Man, my house is uh, sparsely decorated, huh? I guess, you know, you know, I'm an Alliance Marine, so there's a boat and an anchor in my house because I love boats. With all the talk of how much I love boats... You know, Seno, we barely know anything about you. Where's your character story? All right, you don't have one because you're a paper bag. Yee hey, quiet. I may be boring, but I'm also lame. Okay, that dude asked for toast, right? Let's go give it to him. Yeehaw! Seno, my boy. Oh, hey, you have any toast? Oh, a moment of inspiration. A new song is born. Wow. What in the world? Damn, dude, you can do that all on one piano? This dude's crazy talented. So this is how you, uh... Okay. How do I get out? Okay, thank you. Man, this dude's an entire orchestra on one piano. Insane. Definitely needs more tips. But I needed to get rid of that toast. So. Let me see if crepe turns into anything. Did I buy the ingredients for it last time? I think I did, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't make any more, unfortunately, because I have leftover Mabo curry buns. Anything interesting in here? No. Please come again. Got that purple ore, though. Hopefully I don't need that bread as a crafting ingredient, because that would suck. Also, I need to get more magic lenses now that I'm here. Because, you know, this customization shop has weird-ass ingredients. And some more of these, one of these, you know, because of that stupid bullshit involving getting globaled by extension. Just over the top BS. You have quite a lot of charms, I see. 
Oh, we certainly do appreciate your business, dear. What would you like to customize? Oh, surprise me. Baumkuchen. Isn't that like a Christmas cookie or something? Oh, on the purple ore. Who needs a purple ore? Me gant killer. So this guy needs purple ores and a ham sandwich. More damage against peepits and peepit cheeks. Ham sandwich, huh? Well, that blows because I can't. I could make it right now. She then a attribute is lightning. Is this worth somebody has? I feel like it is. Four ninety one. Deck brush, marbled straw, scope straw. Um, could make a reflex. Don't have any yellow ores though. Baumkuchen. I wonder what I need to do to learn that, huh? I certainly don't have that. Well, let's get going. If only I knew I needed to make a ham sandwich to make a weapon. Huh. Silly me. How unreasonable. Could have made a new war javelin or whatever the hell it was. Thunder Lance. You're still here. Anyway, I'm going to get up and walk around for five minutes. Even though I'm starting to feel less... Ugh. I'm starting to feel less uh, brain slow 